Espinoza, you read. Loud and clear. You made it in one piece? All bits present and accounted for. Rough spot for a landing point, though. Well, it's isolated, open to the sky, and close to the client's desired goal. As far as the brass is concerned, it's perfect. Speaking of, I'm about to send him through. You'd better get clear. Righto. Time full successful. I see him. How is he? <clears throat> He's fine. You'd better go check on him. Dr. Anderson? <sighs> that was something. Oh, you're Fia. Is that right? That I am. Welcome to 2024. 2024? So, this is real. I'm really here. That you are. You know this place. It's the old Seagram Center, right? Or should I say that it will be the new Seagram Center? If you like. Whatever helps you make sense of it. Now go local, and we'll be on our way. Oh, yeah. I've been waiting for this. There we go. Perfect. Now let's go. The Silver Flare isn't far. Dr. Anderson, huh? I need to take point. It's for your own protection. Really? But I live here. You didn't. I have been fully briefed. I know the way. Okay, I get it. Don't mess with the designated driver and all. After you, Agent. Well, blast it. Is there a problem? Nothing we can't handle. Agents like myself are equipped with a multi-tool for just this reason. <laughs> Is that right? Yes. Is there something wrong? Oh, no, no, no problem at all. Got everything under control? Yes. Just need to touch base with my handler. Won't be a tick. Not so. Hi, Fia. By the way, how's that new sub-vocalization module working? Tickles the larynx a bit, but I'm getting used to it. Good. That means it's working. Anyway, what's up? There's no keyhole on this door. There isn't? No. Oh, must be padlock from the outside. Didn't they think to check that before choosing this landing point? Do they ever? <sighs> Don't worry. I'll figure this out. They always do. I admit, it is very strange talking like this. Oh? You know, speaking with you without moving on my lips or making any sound. I get it. But you can't deny it's useful. Besides, the brass insists. Well, I insist on a softer landing point next time. That's fine. As long as you do it sub -vocally. Stand by, Nozo. I'll be here. There's no lock to use the multi-tool on. Hey, blame the brass. Not me. The multi-tool can transform into a dozen useful tools, but none of them are needed here. The multi-tool can transform into a... Dr. Anderson? What's up? Are you sure you're all right? Just hungry. Let's get going. So, that clothing you're wearing? Pretty perfect, huh? Figured I should blend in. Blend in? I look like just another student, right? Yes. You look like any other student from this time period. Ha! <laughs> Lady, I was joking. I know what I look like, but trust me, nobody around here cares. That's New York in the 20s for you. I just wanted to indulge. That's okay, right? That is why we are here. Exactly. So, this is a bit awkward. 
Can't get the door open? I'm afraid not. We try to plan for everything, but... No battle plan survives first contact with the enemy, huh? <sighs> Something like that. Well, look, I think I can give you a boost over. You know, if you want. You'll need to open the door from the outside to get me out, but you can manage that, right? All right. Nothing for it. Boost me over. Man, does this take me back. <sighs> Everything okay? I'm fine. Nobody's giving me a second look. And the client? I'll check. Worth a try, but no. Well, Nozo, you were right about the lock. I usually am. What do we do? We show the brass how resourceful we can be. Hurrah! The chance to prove ourselves. Again. Hmm. Does the historical record still contain an archive of old lock combinations? It contains an archive of just about anything. You just need the brand name. Nothing's ever easy, is it? Nuzzo, what's the timeline importance ranking of this old rag? I think it's safe to assume quite low. Hmm, let's test that, shall we? So, any ripples? No fear, the timeline did not change because you picked up a rag. If there are any ripples to be concerned about, I'll ping you. So feel free to grab as much trash off the street as you want. You're too good to me, Noz. I know. Nice day for a stroll, true. But wandering without a destination is against protocol. I should call Nozo and see if he has any ideas. Nozo! Yeah, fear. Rust has completely covered the serial number. Ah, problem. Do you have anything to clean it with? I'll try and find something. Stand by, Nozo. I'll be here. Nice day for a strip. I should call Nozo. Nozo! Yeah, fear. Could you tell me about this client again? Joe Anderson. 64. He pioneered all the latest advances in robotic and laser surgeries. He's the reason why the average life expectancy is over 100 years old now. Ah, so his timeline importance ranking is high. One of the highest. So, where is this diner? A few blocks west of your landing point. You can't miss it. Stand by, Nozo. I'll be here. Nozo, you're keeping an eye on Dr. Anderson, yeah? I'm monitoring him through his PFE. He's fine. For now. But I don't think the press will like that you're leaving him alone. I shouldn't enter without the client.
It's too dry to be of any use. Perhaps another tactic is in order. It's locked with a combination, not with a key. The multi-tool won't do much good. There's no handle or keyhole. It must open from the other side. Now it's all mucky. Ugh. Good thing my suit is self-cleaning. Also. I got it for you. Alright, oh, I need to connect to the Rastar database first. You remember the serial number, Nozo? Yeah, I remember. You did it. That I did. Wow. You're really here. It's just like I remember. The air even smells... Ugh. You alright? I'm... I'm fine. Maybe giving you that boost took more out of me than I thought. Don't worry. Everyone gets a bit wobbly on their first jump. That's why we told you to eat bland food before you came. Oh. Yeah, I didn't eat anything at all. Oh. I want to be hungry. That's the whole point, isn't it? Speaking of... Can we get going? So, about this silver flare... My mouth is already watering. God, I miss that place. I practically lived there back in the day. Or, rather, this day. The food was that good. You've never had a better burger. Made it with real beef. Not that chemically flavored TVP stuff we have now. Hey, you wanna try one? I never ate there alone before. No reason to start now. Just an FYI. The Silver Flare is four months away from getting a D rating from the Board of Health. It serves more rats than people. Uh, I'll pass. Thanks. So you went there often, huh? Three words. Student lunch specials. Kept me fueled almost my entire sophomore year. God, can you imagine what my cholesterol levels were back then? They're bad enough now. Back then, it didn't matter. Metabolism like a pencil sharpener. That was me. <laughs> You said you lived in this area. Well, I was a student in the area for five years. Sort of the same thing. Biochemical engineering, wasn't it? You've done your research. Yeah, I owe a lot to the place. To the Silver Flare, then? My growling stomach says yes. Hey, uh, so what happens if you run into, you know, myself? Oh. We did our due diligence. Your younger self is home for spring vacation right now. Ah, uh, so I'm back in Maine. You know what you're doing. We'd like to think so. Well, you look at those cars. You've probably never seen cars moving in the actual street, have you? I have. Time traveler, remember? Ah, right, of course. You've probably seen horse-drawn buggies, too. On occasion. 
amazing. God, there it is. The silver flare. I... Jesus, sorry. It's, it's just a restaurant. I, I didn't expect it. Don't worry. Take your time. Time, huh? We have plenty of it. That is the benefit of time travel. But I don't, though, do I? Sorry? I was diagnosed with Skimane Syndrome. Did they tell you that? Oh, I see. I'm sorry. How long? They gave me six months, maybe eight. That's why I wanted to see this place. One last time. I understand, Dr. Anderson. Dr. Anderson? <laughs> Please. It's 2024. I'm 19 years old. I'm no doctor. Call me Joe. Right now, I'm just a sophomore biochem student. I have my whole life ahead of me. Not to mention countless late night study burgers from this diner. Let's go in. Hey, be right with you. Sit anywhere you like. Thanks, Maddie. Uh, right. <laughs> oh, <laughs> excuse me. It's all right. Hey, Maddie. Yeah. That was amazing. Can I get a piece of blueberry pie? Sure. Now, if you'll excuse me a minute, I've just got to use, you know, the job. Sure, sure. Go ahead. Hi, Fia. Just checking in. How's it going over when? Let's see. The client has thus far consumed three burgers, a plate of chips, and a milkshake. He just ordered a slice of pie before getting up to use the toilet for the second time. But he seems satisfied. Honestly, I don't think I've ever seen anyone happier. And how are you doing? Me? I'm fine. I'm bit hungry myself now. I'm craving that curry place around the corner from work. What's it called again? Little Modi's? It's not there anymore. Oh, they closed. Uh, no. It never opened. They were Paradox out of existence about five years ago. Oh, figures. Are you hearing that? Huh? Oh, you're kidding me! You don't think... You better go check the just in case. That gate is locked, you moron. I'm counting to 30. Then you either pay up or I'm calling the cops. What are you doing? Trying to skip out of the check is what he's doing. Come on. There's no place for you to go. It was nice seeing you again, Patty. Sorry, what? Hey! Oh, you friggin' deadbeat! Where'd you get that key? Damn it. My manager is going to kill me. Fia, what's going on? You. He's your friend, right? You were sitting with him? No time for that. I need to get after him. Hell no, you aren't. You're paying his bill. Do you have any idea how much he owes us? I am aware. Will this be enough? This is more than enough. Let me go get you change. Keep it. Oh, um, thanks, I guess. I'll just go turn off the alarm. Blast it. Blast it, blast it, blast it. I really thought this would be an easy one. Fear. What happened? Joe Anderson did a runner. He did? That's odd. Odd is the word, yeah. You'd better track him. Track him? Yeah, using his PFE data. Sure, but... You can track him, right? You do know where he is. That's what I'm trying to say. He didn't go anywhere. He's right behind you, according to his PFE data. He's not here, Nozo. You sure the system is working right? It's working perfectly. Are you... Wait. I'll blast it. Nozo? Nozo, what's wrong? The PFE signal's decaying. That's... bad, is it? No, it's certainly not good. Search the alley. It's gotta be around there somewhere. I told you, he ran off! Priorities, Fia. Something in that alley is giving off a signal. Something that's not supposed to be in that era? Right. I get it. Sorry. And sub-vocalize. Sorry. Full of rotten vegetables. Ugh. Nothing but mouldy newspapers. Blast.
blast it. Blast it to hell and back, that bloody idiot. He took off his PFE, didn't he? Worse than that. He didn't just take it off, it's broken. Broken? Yeah. But, but that's impossible. There are only a handful of engineers in the world who could even open that thing, let alone break it. How many degrees does Dr. Anderson hold again? Blast it. What do we do? We find him. And then? I need to check the protocol guide. Uh, stand by. Keep looking for him. Not so. We need to have a word or two about communication. Blast him. Locked. That should do it, for all the good it does. I told them our vetting process was outdated. I told them we should have seen this coming. His background checked out. We were careful enough. Obviously we weren't. We can work out who's to blame later. What do we do now? Okay, I've been reading the protocols and there is a contingency plan for the situation. I'm listening. You're not gonna like it. I said I'm listening. First things first, get back to the landing point. I'm sending you an upgrade. A present. Oh, goody. Thank me later. Just get to the construction site. I'll fill you in when you get there. Right. I'm secure. Okay. I'm relaying the upgrade over. Stand back. This may sting a little. Nozo, what is this? The WEG Mark IV vaporizes organic matter on contact. And you just had this upgrade lying around? Like I said, it's our contingency plan. So you want me to... Yeah. Sure, there is no other way. I don't know. But he broke his paradox field excluder. He is unsynced from our timeline. We couldn't bring him back even if we wanted to. He crossed the line, and he needs to be stopped. <sighs> don't worry. I'll get it done. Right. Good. You know how to use that weapon? I said I'll get it done. Okay. I'll be here. Touch base when you... Well, when you have something to touch base about. Good luck for you. Yeah. Excuse me. Oh, it's you. Did you find your friend? I'm working on it. That is why I want to talk to you. Not sure how I can help, but sure. How did he get through the alley gate? Didn't you say it was locked? Shows when I know. He swiped a spare key from behind the counter. A spare key? Hidden in a pepper shaker. Been there for years. Even I'd forgotten it was there. No idea how he'd even know about that. I can't imagine. Do you know the name Joe Anderson? Joe Anderson? Biochem student in the area, around 18 years old. Oh, you mean Andy. Your friend does look a bit like him. That his grandfather or something? Or something. Well, Andy's always been a good kid. He must be worried. Can you tell me anything about Andy? Didn't you say you already know him? Not exactly. Then I'm not sure what I can tell you. He comes here a lot. We deliver to him at the Brittany house sometimes. You know, the NYU dorm. It's just a few blocks away. Right. Thank you. Nozo, did you get that? Yep. Sending you the address now. You can't tell me anything more about Andy. Look, I'm grateful for that tip you gave me. With all the students around here, that never happens. But I really don't like gossiping about people who aren't here. 
comes here a lot, and we deliver to him sometimes over at the Brittany house. That's it. You deliver to Andy's door? Students, you know, they're our bread and butter. It's not like the Brittany house is far, it's just a block west of here. Thanks for your time. I need to find my friend. Sure. The door is locked tight. The sign says that the building is closed for spring break. Bit out of practice, but I got it. There must be over a hundred rooms in this place. Time travel or not, it will take ages to search them one by one. Not so. Yeah, for you. Any ideas where I should begin? Joe Anderson was careful. No question about that. But he wasn't always careful. Meaning? Meaning his younger self. We should try looking into him. Joe ran away for a reason. Looking into his younger self could tell us why. So, what do we know about Joe Anderson? All I know is that we have to find and stop him. I mean, what does the historical record say about him? Well, it doesn't say much. All we know for sure is that he went to the Silver Flare a lot. So, I suggest you start there. Stand by, Nozo. I'll be here. Excuse me. Oh, hey. What's up? Andy lives in the Brittany House dormitory, correct? Yeah, so? You mentioned that you send deliveries to him. Do you know what room? Not offhand. Sorry. You can't tell me anything more about Andy. Look, I'm grateful for that tip you gave me. But I really don't like us. He comes here a lot, and we deliver to him sometime. That's it. Andy lives in the Brit- Yeah. You mentioned that- Not offhand. Thanks for your time. I need to find my friend. Sure. Seems to be a list of deliveries. None of this means anything to me. Although, wait a moment. Andy A and BH. Andy Anderson and Brittany Hall seems likely. Room fourteen oh seven, here I come. odd. The door was unlocked. And the computer is on as well. Either young Andy left for spring break in a hurry, or someone else was here before me.
activity history is cleared every 48 hours. Nuzzo, when did young Andy leave for spring break? Five days ago. Ah, so whatever was done here, it was done after he left. Makes the most sense, yeah. Trash is cleared every 48 hours. So, like before, this file could only have been created after young Andy left. Or deleted after he left. Just textbooks and study aids. Nothing relevant that I can see. Just te- Almost completely empty. Young Andy must have taken everything home with him. Nozzo? Yeah, Fia. How are things from your end? I'm scanning all security camera footage and every archived photo taken in a three mile radius of your when and location. He's been extremely careful, but if he slips up, we'll know. No ripples detected. And everything's marginal, so far. Whatever the client's doing, it hasn't set off any alarm bells yet. So our client's been messing about with his younger self's computer. Any ideas why? No. He's obviously trying to change something, but what? There has to be something in the historical record. Stand by, Nozo. I'll be here. Is this all the Archive has on Lisa Sandman? Afraid so. She died young. Poor kid. In an explosion five years from now. You think Dr. Anderson wants to prevent that? It seems plausible, but her timeline priority rating is listed as low. If he wanted to save her life, he could have, you know, asked us. It's legal, and he can afford it. You're right. It makes no sense. I'll keep digging. Room 1407, here I come.
just text me. Almost completely empty. Young Andy must have taken everything home with him. No, say. Yeah, for you. So our client's been messing about with his younger self's computer. Any ideas why? No. He's obviously trying to change something, but what? There has to be something in the historical record. Stand by, Nozo. I'll be here. Excuse me. Oh, hey. What's up? Do you know a Professor Foster? You mean Rona Foster? The chem prof? Yeah, she comes in here sometimes. Super cool lady. Thanks for your time. I need to find my friend. Sure. Foster. An explosion is going to kill some of her students five years from now. I think it's the same explosion that will kill Lisa Sandman. Nozo, can you confirm? NYU kept the names of the victims away from the press, but the dates do match up. So Dr. Anderson wants to stop Lisa from dying in the explosion? Could be. But again, the explosion is a low priority event. He could have easily applied to make this change legally and professionally. Why do all this? Dunno. There's something else going on. Do you have the address for the NYU Department of Chemistry? Everything seems to be pointing there. I probably should go see what's what. Sending your way. seeing this, Nozo? I think so. Is that Lisa Sandman? It matches the photograph in young Andy's dormitory. Stand by. I'm gonna get answers. Excuse me. Ah! Sorry, I was a bit, uh, focused. Who are you? I am looking for someone. You're looking for someone? In an empty school building? It's spring break. Nobody is supposed to be here. Nobody? What about you? Well, yeah, that's because... Hey, wait a minute, let me see your card. My card? Yeah, if you belong here, you'd have a school ID card. So, let me see it. Ah, well, look, Lisa, I can explain. Oh, can you? Wait, how do you know my name? Oh, lost it. It was you, wasn't it? You did this. Did what? 
Are you serious? If you didn't send that email, then what are you doing here? Email. Are you for real, or are you just being cute? Again, I have no idea. Right, right, fine, fine, whatever. You obviously don't belong here, but neither do I. Tell nobody I was here, and I'll do the same. What exactly are you doing? Nothing. Nothing at all. It looks like you're trying to pick the lock of that door. No. Shut up. I'm not doing anything. You are literally doing it right now. Yeah? Well, we all see what we want to see. Do you know Joe Anderson? You probably know him as Andy. Is that what this is about? Dating my lab partner? I have no idea. Since you have no idea, neither do I. So, you're Andy's cluster mate? His what? Sorry, his, uh, what's the word, uh, girlfriend? Uh, well, I wouldn't go that far. Not sure what we are yet. So about Andy? Look, I'm trying to focus here. You want me to help you? Help me get through this door. I'm looking for an older gentleman. He was wearing an NYU hat and sweatshirt. Huh. I think I would have remembered seeing someone like that. But I don't know for sure. I'm a bit distracted right now. So could you tell me about yourself? Hey, total stranger. Do I look like I want to tell you my life story? Right, right, sorry. Well, I'll be going. Sure, whatever. She seems friendly. She's ignoring me and ignoring the rules. No wonder she and Joe Anderson get along so well. So Joe's cluster mate, this Lisa Sandman, any thoughts on her? Not really. The Archive had next to nothing to say about her. Just her birth date, her death date, her employment history, and little else. She lived a short, simple, and rather unremarkable life. We can't all change the world, can we? No, just with time travel. How are things from your end? I'm scanning all security camera footage and every Archive photo taken in a three- He's been extreme- I need to gain Lisa's trust, Nozo. She won't speak to me otherwise. I think I need to help her. Do what you think is necessary. I'll keep an eye out. Stand by, Nozo. I'll be here. If you'll allow me. Huh? I have some experience with this sort of thing. Somehow I'm not surprised. Sure, knock yourself out. There you go. Oh, thank God. Seriously. You're a lifesaver. There. My good deed for the day. Funny you should say that. Why? Whatever you changed, it did literally nothing. So the ripples were marginal? Not marginal. Non-existent. Is that unusual? Normally, no. But with a walking paradoxical anomaly on the loose, well, I'll keep monitoring. Just in case. Come on, come on, come on. Password locked. Seriously? Jeez Louise, Prof, where's the trust? Everything all right? No. Can I have a go? For real? Sure. Go ahead. Sorry, can't seem to crack it. Uh, let me keep trying. So. Yeah, fear. Password protection. How quaint. 
It was the best option before DNA encoding made them obsolete. Any idea what this password might be? Nothing on file, but it was common practice to write down some kind of mnemonic aid. Stand by, Nozo. I'll be here. Another go. Sure, I guess. Sorry, can't seem to crack it. Oh, let me keep trying. Be crap! You did it! Here, let me add that thing. Come on, come on. And deleted. Oh, that was effing close. Jesus. Let's get out of here. I've done all I can with that. Hey, you coming? I should speak with Lisa first. Lisa? Yeah? You promised to speak to me about Andy. Oh, yeah. Sorry. What did you want to know? Have you been clustered at, I mean, dating him long? Not long. Just two weeks? Or maybe one week? I'm not sure if spring break week counts. Eh, whatever. I say it counts. Two weeks! Can you tell me anything about Joe? Or Andy, rather? Um, why? You said neither of us were in trouble, right? That is correct. Neither of you are in trouble. Right now. Wait, is this about the roof? Because everybody does that. You shouldn't single him out. The roof? Yeah, our lab group did some atmospheric analysis tests up there. We need to be high up. And that's against the rules? Technically, yeah. We're not supposed to use that fire escape unless there's an actual fire. But do you know how many students live in a building with roof access? None in my lab group, but that's for sure. Well, I won't say anything if you won't. Like I said, everybody does it. So your Andy knows about the roof as well? My Andy, huh? Yeah, he definitely knows about it. It's where we first... Hey, you know what? Never mind. Thank you, Lisa. You've been a great help. Thank you. I probably owe you my future diploma. Heck, my future, period. Your future... Of course. I'm gonna head out now. I just wanna get drunk and forget this happened. You wanna join? I'll buy. It's the least I can do. That's alright. You take care. Back at ya. Thanks again. Yeah. You're welcome. Lisa mentioned the roof. I probably should take a look before I go anywhere else. Hello, Joe. Ah, I knew you'd find me. I mean, you had to find me. I just needed a bit of time, and that's what I got. I'd really suggest that you stop talking. Sure, 
Sure, it doesn't really matter anyway. I did what I needed to do. Do what, exactly? I saved her. By her? I assume you mean Lisa. You know about Lisa? Oh, there was almost nothing in the historical archive about her. I checked many times. It's like history forgot all about her. You didn't hire us just for a meal, did you? Oh, that was part of it. Going back to the flare was nice. Yes, it was nice, wasn't it? Especially when you ran off and put my entire department on high alert. I'm... I'm sorry. I'm sorry I put you through all this. I really am. But it doesn't matter now. I got her kicked out. I got her away from you. That's... that's the important thing. You hacked her email. You know about that too. Yes. It was me. She gave me her password once to grab some files when her phone died. I still remember it after all this time. Well, she'll be happy to know that her trust wasn't misplaced. You don't understand. I had to do it. Lisa died, will die, in a chemical explosion right here in this building. But not anymore. I changed it. There's no way Professor Foster will hire Lisa now. Not after she reads that email. Lisa won't be here when it happens. She'll be safe. There was a better way to do this. We receive requests to save people from death all the time. Why didn't you make one yourself? You think I didn't try that? My request was rejected. Rejected? Why? Her timeline importance rating was low enough? Sure. Her life wasn't important according to your precious board of directors. But her death? No. That had to be set in stone. They couldn't take the risk that Lisa surviving wouldn't affect my life. My life and all my precious accomplishments. I'm sorry. I truly am. But the board considers these things very carefully. Your medical advances saved millions of lives. That's a legacy worth preserving. It must be preserved. And shouldn't I be the one who determines that? Why should my legacy come with the price of her life? I... I loved her, you know? We were only together for a handful of years, but my whole life... It was always her. I've never stayed clustered with anyone for very long. I was always too busy. Too busy changing the world, too busy making a fortune. But none of it, not a, not a single minute of it, none of it held a candle to being with her. Whatever happens now, saving her, it was, it was worth it. You don't need to shoot. I'll go back quietly. Um, I said I'll go back quietly. This is the way it has to be, Joe. You broke your PFE. I couldn't bring you back even if I wanted to. You see. Well, yes, that makes sense. I don't suppose you could just leave me here. I'll be dead in six months anyway. Can you at least give me that? After everything you've done, do you really think that's an option? No, I... no. I suppose it's not. Do it then. Lisa's safe. That's all that matters. She is safe, right? Could you check that for me before you do it? There's been no change for you. Just do what you need to do. We managed to delete that email in time. What? We snuck into Professor Foster's office. We deleted it. It's gone. That... no. No, you didn't. We found no changes in the historical record. If history deems that she dies here, she will die here. You monster. I have to go back and try again. Get out of my way. Let me go back. Please. You okay? I'm Dante, or so. Just tickety-boo. You think it was right to tell him? I didn't see the harm in it. You did what you had to do, Fia. Yeah. The brass is going to be happy for whatever that's worth. At least somebody will be. Ready to come home. Right. Stand by.